Hey everyone, just a quick video. Don't do this. I don't do this often, but uh, like right now, so ChatGPT or the OpenAI uh, pro, uh, company just, just made an announcement that they've released the information on the uh, the, the, the GPT search. Um, and I was on the wait list, so I it released it at like 1.30 and I'm now at 3.45 and um, I have access to it. I just wanted to share it really quickly. I haven't played with this yet, but I really want to find out how this works. So this is the new function here. Um, this little search the web icon versus attach a file. So if I click this, now I'm not going to do it like Google. That I don't have interest in that. But for me, it's like um, I want to... Oh, wait a second here. One second. All right, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to my free generator for my prompt generator. I'm going to see if I can add in... I know you could do it before, but I'm going to see if it connects at all into this. I'm going to create a case study about artificial intelligence machine learning just for topic. I'm going to do Bitcoining and bit mining problems for some fun. And it's going to be a general research format of a case, but input my email address. There's my prompt. I'm just going to copy it and go back to ChatGPT search. And I'm going to say, I'm just going to paste it in and hit enter and see what happens. <laughs> Okay, so it is actually writing and it's also grabbing uh, citations, like real sources on this. So on the right-hand side, I see sources and it is actually grabbing that and making it real. So before, if I would write a case study like this, it would be a completely synthetic case. And I'm assuming this is synth synthetic to a real, to a degree. But what I'm going to do is like, it's choosing like actual citations for this information. So let's just say this. Um, I am not sure what you did. Um, is this a real case now based on authentic content from the web? Uh, from the web. So it's searching the web and it's rewriting it. So it's acting like a search function versus answering me directly because it's rewriting it. And so interesting. We got to learn how this works because it now has all these citations it had and it says sources and there are, so it's showing the sources. Okay. And it's acting truly like, like a search function, but this previous one actually has citation links to information on this. So I'm going to go back and turn off search and just say, um, based on the first case you made with the links and citations, can you write that again with the sources so that I can have a case that has real data and content with citations. So let's see what it does. So not uncommon, you could actually search the web before, but now the first search was I took my, my case study generator prompt, took the prompt, put it in here with the search function, and then it wrote the case and actually found like citations for it. So I don't know about this. I've got to read through this. I got to read through what it's pulling, the citations, where it's pulling from, but interesting concept that with the search function versus using it like search the web where it's like, hey, where can I find food or what could I do? It's like actually putting in a detailed prompt, hitting search the web. It directs the AI to write whatever you wanted, but it will search the web to find references and citations for it. And then turning off that search function so you can still now have all those citations in that conversation. And now you can actually build upon that. Like it is, it is showing these different citations and links to real things. And I'm going to believe this is accurate and true because of the writing, the detail, the detail uh, how detailed the prompt was. And I would want to read through this, but so interesting that at least if this is accurate with the right prompt, you can search the web. It will, you'll say, build the whatever, whatever you're doing. And it could pull citations of real authentic data and fit it into the case study or article or whatever you want interesting stuff like and there's a ton of uh a ton of, of citations here now are they good citations i have no idea are they good resources i have no idea that's something you would validate check and go through but the concept of i can click search the web put in my prompt write whatever i'm doing and it will actually fill in and filter in real 
data into it is a exciting and concerning thing um, because what's the intent of this paper, of this report, of this, of this thing? Is this acceptable? Is this not acceptable? Is it usable? Is it not usable? Is it allowed? Is it not allowed? Interesting thought. Anyways, long-winded thought. Hopefully that was uh, of support, of interest and it worked for you. And um, I got to do more videos on this. It'd be interesting. Anyways, if you have any questions, put in the comments below and uh, I'll see you guys in the next video.